put a little bit of graphite in there. Mm -hmm. The, uh, what used to be called a lead pencil. That's not really lead, it's graphite. Right. Take the old string, assuming you're going with the same gauge, or you could take the new string and take the very end of it, the part you're gonna cut off, cut okay. off anyway. Cool. Um, you get that, and you'll notice it as you add the graphite, you'll just feel that string moving smoother and smoother. The bridge plate underneath, mm -hmm. if you reach in there, you'll feel the bridge plate. It's underneath the bridge, it's in the wooden wedge, you can feel the edges of it. Like right in here? Uh, right, oh, right, over right there. under the bridge. Oh, there I see. Especially if you use the string hole, it's an orientation wheel. Yeah, okay. So that bridge plate should always be smooth. Sometimes people put a string in and the reason I bent this, mm -hmm. take one that's not bent. Put a string in, put a bridge pin in, start to tune it. Mm -hmm. Right now, if you reach in there, essentially what it's doing is the string is sitting here. Oh, right. Don't want that. Yeah. Because when you tune it, it's Pops going to eventually it. pop up to like here, which is where the edge of the bridge plate is. And that's where you start doing damage. I'm and sure. yeah, and that popping will hit the wood hard and start to chip away at the wood of the bridge plate. Mm -hmm. You don't want to do that. So you want to make sure that the string is seated correctly somewhere along here. Some people assume that groove means that you want the string to be at the end of that groove and it will not stay there as you tighten it. It'll come up to the bottom of the bridge plate. I see. And so that so, bend. So I bent that so that it will naturally you always make sure you get your groove lined up as close. Now which way did it go in? Which way is the bend? Oh I see. Bend is towards the front. Okay. The pressure is towards the back. And you kind of like pull up on the string a little bit as you put the bridge pin in. Now what I like to do Let's get all strings, all six strings on. Right. And then right now I reach in there, hold this down, and feel the ball end if you want to do that. Um, hold, like, you'll feel the end of this pin, and then you'll feel right in front of it the ball end of the string. Oh, and right up against the wood. Right yeah. up against the wood. Not everybody does this, this is just my thing, and a lot of other luthiers do it. Seems to make perfect sense. So that's going to give the string a natural orientation oh. to kind of sit against that bridge pad. Cool. So push that in, make sure you keep that groove straight. All the pins are lined up with the roof grooves aiming forward. Cut. Now we put the string through the tuner, pull it taut. On the low E string, now this is as we go to lighter strings, um, we can do a little bit more wraps. Cut. But low E string being the thickest. Right. I bring it out to just a little past one tuna length. Okay. Take that, that's my distance of a sharp bend. Bring it over the top, really tight. And then here, going in the same direction, we give a very sharp bend. And what that does is that keeps the string from slipping through there because it's got a right angle bend in it now, right at the edge of the tuner. Okay. So. And did that? Here, I'll do this one by hand. Okay. Um, in the right direction. I usually use the. Uh, well, okay, you can use. Well, it's hard to tell from this angle which is going over and which is going under. Okay, so. The first string went over. That's the the loose end out there? Yeah. Or, okay. So where it's coming 
where it's coming out of the hole here. Right. The string wrap is over. Gotcha. But now, now when I get to this point, it goes under. Gotcha. I'm doing this by hand. It's so slow. Now you see how that went under the string. Got it. What that does is as the string tightens, that creates a bit of vice on this string. Nice. Because the tension from one above and one below is going to pull. I just like to get a little more of a bend in there for when I cut it. But um, that's gonna that's gonna pull the two strings together. Now the rest of the wraps go underneath. Usually you want to end up with at least one, one and a half or two wraps under the string. Okay. Now this I already kind of pre-bent. So I cut this, turn around so I get a closer cut. Cut it fairly close to the tuning post. Okay. And then you can take the end and just kind of bend that down a little bit just so it's not sticking up to where it'll stick you. Pull it all the way through, give it a little tug, make sure that it's seated there. Sometimes if the holes aren't reamed correctly, the pin might pop up a little bit, in which case I want to either ream and or ramp the slot that the string sits in just to get it really well seated there. So anyway, pull it tight. I'm gonna go like one tuner, I'm gonna go like one and a quarter tuner like the mid. Now, okay, so to make it easier, rather than physically wrap it over the top, I'll just do it all with the string there. So you see, just now, I grabbed it, I bent this at a right angle, and then that at a right angle. Got it. So I'm going to take this. Go over the top, which I missed. That's why I find it easier to just wrap it by hand. string like this so you know you're going downward. Um, so right at this point it hits where the string goes through the post and it's underneath. Cool. So there's one wrap over, one wrap under. We'll probably end up with about two wraps under. Again, I, I like to round that even though it's making the right angle. Right. I don't like it to stick out straight. I just if it's rounded it's That is um, fairly taut. Okay. It's one tuna length. Got gotcha. a little more than one tuna length. So, and that's just measuring the distance that we want to wrap. Right, right. Take this over the top, pull it tight, nice. give that a kink. Right here is where it goes under. And again, I'm always keeping my finger here to keep it, just making sure those wraps are going downward and not overlapping. Although they usually naturally will go, right, go right. down. Now, we're on the edge of that So you gotta remember we always want the strings to come towards the inside. You don't want it coming out that way. Gotcha. Because then the bend as it goes to the nut, 
if it were coming at this side, there would be too much oh, of yeah. a break angle. You want the least break angle as possible okay, here for cool. joint stability. Great. So you just got to remember, you get to this side, you're routing the other way. I'm going to loosen it a little bit so I can get a good cut on there. Be careful to not cut your flesh. That part of it. Or your flesh. <laughs> yeah. But that part of string, because yeah. otherwise you. Then you just, get to restrict. Then you get to find a new string to replace it. On the unwound strings, I'll take a little less string. Okay. Um, okay, so I brought that back. Give it a bend in this direction and come under. <coughs> Oh, sour note. That sounded ominous. Uh, okay, so you see that? So it went under the string. Pull it as tight as I can. Go back over it. And the only reason I go to a few wraps is so that when I let go, it, it'll sit straight up and I won't bang into the other ones. Yeah, what you've got is, is a V. So that string went under and then over and bent at a right angle, gotcha. creating a V that now as we wrap the string, it's going to lock onto that. Oh yeah. So now this string is locked onto that V that I made by going under and over. Cool. And then I just, Find it towards the bottom and show where it's caught. So just kind of make sure that that V is, you know, just a good solid bend. And then I cut this string differently. Okay. So I'll give it about. about that much slack. The reason for the extra string, since these are the strings that stab you, <laughs> got it like that. Take some needle nose pliers, grab it firmly, bend it in. Oh, cool. Okay. And even down a little bit. So now that end of the string isn't going to catch you. You hit the string, you're just hitting this V. No one gets hurt. Yeah. Right. 